Hello friends, this video on Air Around Us Part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Detail. So before we start discussing about the composition and importance of air, let us uh, have a look at some of the experiences with air around us because the lesson says air around us which it says that air is present all around us. Now how do we believe that it is present all around us? Look at this example. Have you ever noticed that uh, when you keep clothes outside in the sun, when you keep wet clothes outside in the sun for drying, what, what happens? You just put them on a rope and then you tie them with uh, the clips. And after some time you see that the clothes keep waving here and there. And how do they wave? They wave due to the presence of air. So when you see your clothes moving here and there, you can actually visualize that okay they are moving because air is there because nobody else is standing there nobody else is making them move so air can be the only thing that can make them move so looking at this you can see that yes air is present around us think of another another instance in fact if you want you can try this out yourself to prove that air is present everywhere around us it, it doesn't matter whether our hair is moving or not moving, but air is present around us. So how do we prove that? So we will prove it with a very simple experiment. So all you need is a bottle. So take a bottle and make sure that the bottle is empty. The bottle is completely dry, empty. There is not a drop of anything inside the bottle. So it's a completely empty bottle. So what do you think is there inside the bottle? You would say nothing because it's empty. So nothing is there. Okay, fine. Now what we do, we take a beaker and put some water. So we have put some water in this beaker and now you take this bottle, turn it upside down and put it inside the beaker. What should happen? I mean, what should ideally happen? Because you are saying that the bottle is empty. So if the bottle is empty, so when I am putting it inside a bucket of water, that water should come inside the bottle. That, that should be the simple logic because the bottle is empty right now. But what happens if you put it inside the bottle in the similar way as you see on the screen. So you have to hold the bottle just upside down and put it deep inside the water. And surprisingly what happens is that not a single drop of water enters inside the bottle. So you would see that the entire bottle inside is completely dry. Not a single drop had entered inside. In fact, while you were holding the bottle like this, you could, you could actually feel a pressure. You could actually feel that you had to exert a lot of pressure to keep that bottle in this position. Because you felt as if something is pushing the bottle towards the upward direction. So something is pushing it up. So you can, when you press it from here, so you are applying your, you are placing your hand here and you can actually feel as if something is push, trying to push it up. You can feel that. But even then, if let's say you are exerting more pressure and somehow you are inserting it inside the water, but still not a single drop of water would have entered inside the bottle. So why did that happen? Because the bottle was all empty. So water could have entered inside. Now, what happened was, the bottle is not empty actually. Actually, the bottle is filled with air. So air is something invisible. So we can't see it. It doesn't have any smell. It is odorless, colorless. So it's all invisible. So we can't uh, detect its presence just by seeing because it's invisible. But actually it is present inside the bottle. Now what happens when we put this bottle inside the water then the air which is present inside the bottle, that air exerts a pressure in the downward direction. So the air exerts a pressure in this direction and this water covers the water here, water in the beaker, it can completely covers the mouth of the bottle. So it has kind of blocked the mouth of the bottle and the water also exerts a pressure in the upward direction. Now the problem that arises here is air is not able to come out of the bottle because it is not getting any way to come out because 
air has to come air has only one option to come out that is the mouth of the bottle and the mouth of the bottle is surrounded completely by water so air is not getting any space to come out now since air is not coming out there is no space for water to enter inside so the water is not able to enter inside so air is exerting a pressure in the downward direction water is exerting a pressure in the upward direction so as a result of all these what's happening the result is that that there is no water that is actually entering inside so now let's try the same thing with another piece of paper so you do the same experiment now this time what you do is you take a paper just roll it crumble it to form a ball like this and put this ball inside the bottle keep this ball inside the bottle now again you perform the same thing and at the end of the experiment you will see that the paper is completely dry now this proves that there was no bottle there was no water present inside the bottle so this is another way to prove the same thing so this shows that air is present around us like the empty bottle nobody guessed that there could be something inside the bottle everybody said that it is all empty but it actually contained air so now when we look at the scenario where water enters inside the bottle so we again take the same bottle which is again obviously filled with air but now what we are going to do is we will again try to insert the bottle in the similar way but again the result would be same no water would enter now what we do is we slightly tilt the bottle in this fashion now as soon as we tilt the bottle the immediate thing that we observe is there were there are certain bubbles in this area and immediately water starts entering inside the bottle so as soon as you tilt the bottle even the slightest tilt will uh, show bubbles here and water will start entering inside so these bubbles what are these bubbles these bubbles are nothing but the air which comes out of the bottle so bubbles they show the presence of air so these bubbles are nothing but the air that came out of the bottle and as soon as the air came out of the bottle there was space for water and so water entered inside the bottle and as you keep tilting it you know water will keep going inside so now just uh, wait a moment and think of a scenario let's say you have a bucket of water now say your father asked you to fetch Uh, a mug of water from that bucket so if you have that mug in your hand and you have to take some water out of that bucket so how do you take that water so just think about it carefully in or in fact you just right now try it out at your home so take a mug in your hand go to a bucket which is filled with water now put the mug inside the bucket how are you able to fetch water in the mug only when you tilt the mug in this way so only when the mug is in tilted direction only then water it comes inside the mug but if you try to insert it like how we were trying before like completely perpendicular to the water surface so in that case there will be no water that would enter inside the mug so that's the concept here so the concept is that in the first case the air was trapped inside the bottle there was no space for water so water couldn't enter in this scenario as you tilt the bottle air gets some space to come out of the bottle so air starts coming out which is shown in the form of bubbles space get created inside and therefore water can move inside so the bubbles indicate the escape of air so these bubbles thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again